Hello, hello, hello there everyone, and welcome back to another episode of DML! So, yesterday I did manage to breed the new dragon of the week, the Machine Dragon. So this guy has been available before, but this is the first time that I've ever actually managed to breed him. So I was pretty happy about that. And it's already been a whole day, so the guy has actually finished hatching now. So we can go ahead and open up his weird, like, steel egg thing. Like, look at this. It looks like some sort of Apple product. Like the iRobot or something. The iDragon. That would be very weird. But he looks super cute with his little robot eye. Creating this dragon was a mistake. If the secrets of its breeding fall into the wrong hands, Dragonlandia could be lost. That is a very troubling statement, to say the very least. Like, it actually is an Apple conspiracy with this dragon by the sounds of it. We're actually all going to get murdered by this poor little defenseless, adorable little thing down here. Again, just all the dragons with this body type. Where they just waddle their little armies around. Like, look at them! Jeez, oh, this guy! And I love the fact that if you look at his wings, then they're just connected by like a middle section. I swear that they would just break immediately. Again, Apple products, am I right? Nah, but let's stop with the hate on all the Apple stuff and we'll feed up this cute little baby here to level four and obviously as an adult. The wings are still very, very thin, my friend. And obviously because of the wing animation, it doesn't actually look like the wings are 3D. Unlike the rest of the guy, it just looks like a 2D I don't know, cut out picture, just sort of moving up and down, but what can you do, right? But, yeah, I'm happy that we finally managed to get the machine dragon. He's a cute little guy, and he's an epic that has been avoiding me, so another one that I can sort of cross off the list. And actually, I have enough food to feed up this guy, don't I? No, we're like so... we're so short! So we require 8,000 food. Well, I'm sure that we could do like one of these auto fights and get that. Oh, how much did we get? Yeah, we got way more than enough. Here you go. And he's level 63 now. And obviously we've got some dinner time stuff. There we go. He's been leveled up. And there are actually a couple of events on. So obviously the dinner time one, we've already hit the, uh, the gem, the max thing. So this is the VIP only one with the peacock dragon, which I don't really care about. And then we've got the Star Stripe Forever with the Star Stripe Dragon as the reward guy. So gather as much gold as you can from any source. So obviously it's going to be well fought. But I guess this dragon is really fitting considering that it was the uh, the election. Like yesterday or whenever it was. I don't even remember. Like yesterday or the day before? Two days ago? I don't know. I'm going crazy. I am actually going crazy. And I don't even remember if I mentioned this last time, but there is also a Yin Yang Dragon Bundle on sale at the moment from £80 to £40. So if you really want the Yin Yang, then I guess this is going to be the time for you. But as per usual, we have nothing to breed because even if we go into enchantment breeding, we, all of these dragons are just out of our reach at the moment, the superhero and disco ball. So we're left with our only option, which is to do some more enchantment fights. Very fun. Fun for all the family. So hopefully we can actually do these fights for a change and the enemies don't just wallop all of our lower level guys. Level 28. Already starting off pretty frisky, may I add. But since we've got plenty of time on our hands, ah, uh, we could just talk about anything. But if you haven't entered the gem sweepstakes yet, then you probably should. Because if you play this game even at all, then the chance to win 900 gems or 1,800 gems, just why not? Like, that's a ton of gems just for free basically and you just have to get lucky with the RNG of the sweepstakes and that's it bingo you are, you, you are a winner yay celebration but obviously the sweepstakes does 
close on the 15th of November, so there's four days to enter now. So if you haven't actually entered yet, then get off your your high horse and actually enter, you silly goose. But you know, it's been it is cool during all of the like little game loft things that they have. Just to see all the different pictures that people come up with. Like, I remember seeing a picture of the Rainbow Dragon along with someone that had multicolored hair. I think it was a guy, actually, on Instagram. That looked pretty cool, actually. Like, just a, a rainbow-colored hair guy with the Rainbow Dragon. It was actually really cute. You see, I like inventiveness like that. And it definitely did look like his, I don't know, his counterpart, his baby. That might sound a bit weird, but I think you I think you get what I mean. But you know, apart from all of that stuff that was just mentioned, I don't think too much else has gone on in the world of Dragonlandia. Actually, there was something that I don't know if I really should mention it or not, but there was a post on the DML Facebook page today by Gameloft, but that post got taken down after not very long and Timia told me that that whole shenanigan has been postponed or whatever so if any of you guys saw what that was it's been postponed for now just so you know but those of you that don't know what I'm talking about I I'm talking about absolutely nothing and you have no idea and I never mentioned it simple as come on stop giving me a little 30s I need easy stuff I need free money! Oh, that should be fine. But, <clears throat> it does look like we've got something else on the way at least. So that's something to keep us all entertained for a little bit longer, I suppose. Quite exciting. I even said, like, when's the next event or, like, special thing gonna be happening in DML. And I guess we got the sweepstakes at the moment, which is pretty nice. That's the thing, it's like everyone always complains, Gameloft never does anything, Gameloft never does this, Gameloft never does that. And then like, as soon as there's no event upcoming, or there's just like a week's worth of downtime, they just come out with like a gem sweepstakes, or it's a gem competition. These, these dragons are busting my balls, by the way. But, <clears throat> you know, just to set up competitions like that, it takes so much bloody effort in comparison to what you'd expect and obviously they have to read through all the rules and abide by them to the book because they don't want to get sued. Speaking of which, if you're entering the gem sweepstakes, make sure you read the terms and conditions of the event, well, the sweepstakes, because certain countries just cannot win the, uh, the first the prizes at all. Some countries are just completely barred and they're just random European countries for some reason. Not sure why, but um, a couple of people in the past, like one of the gem events that I sort of hosted with Gameloft, um, people have won and then had to be refused their rewards. So make sure that you actually read through them because you don't want to get very lucky, win everything, be all nice and excited that you're gonna have so many gems and then just find out, oh wait, no, I actually get absolutely nothing. Oh, silly me, lol. Ah, uh, well, I, I am back after, after a very small break. I, I just had to stop for a second because I felt like I was gonna like projectile vomit all over my keyboard, let's just put it that way. I don't know what it's what it is lately, but over like the last week or so, I, every so often just for like five minutes I feel like so incredibly ill. And then it feels like I'm about to die sort of thing. It feels like every single hole in my body there's just gonna be a big explosion and everything's gonna go flying everywhere. I, I wanna know what what the instigation is so I can stop it from happening but the worst thing is when you're like on public transport and you feel really ill oh my god that is like a nightmare because where do you go say you're on a bus say you feel like 
Um, your bum is gonna explode because you had a curry the previous day. Where do you go? You can't stop it from happening. It's gonna happen. And if you try and do it discreetly because you can't stop it anyway, then you're gonna walk like a bloody penguin off the bus. And then you still have the small journey to get to your house or say you have to walk for 20 minutes, then you're screwed. And if you want to projectile vomit everywhere, if you don't have like a, a plastic bag with you, then Jesus, people are gonna hate you that day. Imagine walking onto a bus just full of people just being sick everywhere. I mean, I'm sorry if anyone's eating and they're squeamish, but these are just the thoughts of me, I guess you could say. All just because my stomach feels bad. Well, there you go. There's some food for thought. I hope that image of the bus seeps into your mind and stays with you for the rest of the night. Or day. Because obviously for some people at this time, it is 8.46 on Friday. It is like 8am in New Zealand and places on the other side of the world, so... People are in very different time zones. Some people are just waking up, some people are falling asleep. It's a very strange world we live in. Thank you, sun. Thank you, moon. And I'm not talking about the Pokemon games there. I'm just talking about the actual Earth. God, you think you think I don't get out anywhere and all that I ever talk about are video games? Damn you. You're mostly correct. But I think after these fights here, I'm going to have to end it because, again, I'm having that spell of time where I feel like I am actually going just to go into an induced coma due to my stomach and every part of my body just hurting, essentially. I am standing up at the moment, so if this if it does sound any different, I'm very sorry. But there we go, we got, ooh, we got an energy material there. That is pretty good. So, nothing of value that actually happened today. We can't even really use Kronos because we don't have anything to breed, which is ridiculous. But anyway, guys, I am going to have to end it there. Sorry for cutting it a little bit shorter than I would have liked, but there's only so much a dying woman can do. So, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I will see you then. I am sick, I am sick, what is wrong, what is wrong, I am sick.